Cobra Hero 6 was released yesterday. I'm now going to this GoPro offline shop to hands on it and maybe do a little bit of video or image comparison with Ford Plus. This is cash. How's it going, Good, good. Oh, this is not so simple. First of all, we have to change it to English. Somehow we don't know how, right? That's what you mean? No, I don't know. But Cash, your Chinese is great. No, 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 my Chinese reading is terrible. Taking a little bit of video for Sammy. Taking a little bit of video for Sammy. Great, so... Let's, begin. Let's first take a look at the GoPro Hero 6. Yep. So this is the brand new Hero 6. The body is actually pretty much identical to the last version. Most of the improvements are actually coming on the inside, not yeah. so much the outside. Is it the shooting in 4K 60 FPS? Finally! This is the improvement that should have been there in the GoPro Hero 5. But now actually in the 6 you can finally do 4K 60 frames per second. And there's a few other improvements as well. Eh, mostly 4 or 5 big improvements from the 5 to the 6. So, uh, with that... Okay. The design is the same as the Hero 5. You can see the design is the same. It has the same casing, it has the same waterproofing. Uh, so it's waterproof up to 10 meters without a case. And then you need a waterproof case to go any deeper than that. I wanted to show you guys the differences between the Hero 6 and the 4K Plus. Yeah. Because these, both of these guys now can do 4K at 60 frames per second, which is awesome, which is the way it should be. All right, so you can take a look at the screen for both of these. All right, so let's take a look at both of the screens. Mm -hmm. You can see both of the cameras are a very similar size. Uh, also, the screens are of a very similar size. I think uh, they're both very, very, very sharp screens, but the GoPro Hero 6 screen seems to be a little bit brighter. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, so that is very nice. So it's a nice bright screen. They both capture a pretty wide angle. So you guys can take a look side by side at the video. And as far as the wide angle goes, I think the GoPro actually has a little bit more of a distortion going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, so it's a brighter screen, but it seems like it distorts the image a little bit more. So you probably need to edit that in post. Uh, the E4K seems to adjust that automatically on the screen right now. So it's about the same wide angle. You can see almost the same in both, but the E4K Plus is correcting the picture. So you don't get that bend in the TV screen and the characters, if you can see that. Although no, the, four, the GoPro 6 is set a little bit wider. Okay, let's take a look at the front. So on the front, uh, the GoPro Hero 6 actually has a little screen. Mm -hmm. So it's great to tell you basically a little bit more information about how many shots are left, the battery life. Right over here we can tell there's not a lot of battery life left on this one. Mm -hmm. And how many pictures and videos yeah, you can take. So, so, that, is, quick. so that, is, that is nice, okay, that is nice. Uh, on the top, both, uh, both of them have the shutter button, single shutter button over here. On the bottom, nothing much going on. It's just uh, the openings to put the battery and the memory card. e has the standard thread. That's great. Right. And on this side, you've got the uh, mode button on the GoPro Hero 6. And on this side, you've got USB-C yeah. uh, for the 4K Plus. And you've just got a hinge actually to open the side of the Hero 6. What does this do? Can I open it? I don't know. So the final thing is just to take a look at the screen. So it's very obvious that the U4K Plus has a much wider screen. This one is a little bit brighter. Now as far as touch gestures and everything goes, yes. uh, I think having used this for a little while, the interface is definitely not as intuitive. So the touch screen on the 4K Plus is definitely yeah. more responsive. Uh, the settings and everything just feel more intuitive. Yep. Uh, I mean, got, got video, you got 
you know, photos, videos, everything is just really, so really easy. intuitive over here. Yeah, but uh, the settings are a little bit more difficult to access on the for on the Hero Six. Uh, just taking basic photos and videos, okay, not a problem. It's when you want to go ahead and adjust something. I find it's not very user friendly. So, in that respect, eh, it could be better. You know, yeah, it, it could definitely be, be better. Next thing is the battery is dying pretty quickly on this thing. We've only been playing around with it for a little bit and it went from 50 to 11%. So, yeah. uh, no, 10% in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> so, the battery is not going to last you a long time on this if you're playing around with it. So, probably try to keep the screen off. Uh, the 4K kind of has a better battery performance so far while we're playing around with it. That was the comparison. So, let's. Let's compare them now for video. So let's go set the yeah. resolution at 4K, 60 frames per second. Yep. Let's take a little video of Sammy as well while we're here. Hey Sammy. Hi. The future YouTuber sensation. Cash, the future YouTuber sensation. Oh, yeah. Want to take some more? Maybe I can jump. Maybe jump. Recording Sammy Jumper. Jump, Sammy. Jump. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I did. Recording it completely. One more time? All right. So there's mostly four or five big improvements when it comes to the GoPro Hero 6. One is the GP1 processor. It's a custom built processor just for GoPro. It helps to analyze the photos for the best lighting, look up faces, basically helps with exporting faces to quick stories. Talking of quick stories, with your Hero 6 footage, uh, you can easily take a video, export it to the GoPro Hero app, and it'll transform it into little moments automatically. Optical image stabilization, or OIS, is also much improved. And it looks like you're using a gimbal to shoot the video, even though you're not. So the OIS is improved a lot between the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. And it's not uh, like uh, the, the electronic image stabilization on 4K30 or 60. It didn't say this. That I'm not sure. We can check. We can see. Uh, we got the shutter, the auto, video stabilization, temporarily disabled. Ah, okay. So it's not available. So there's, so there's no video stabilization when you're going at 240 frames per second. So let's see. What can we do about Maybe that? 4K. Yeah. Let's go back to 4K. To see if it's working on 4K 30. And I don't think it's working on 4K 60. That's that's impossible. Let's see. Let's see. Well, at 4K 60. Let's see. Uh, we can go to the. Nope, it's also disabled. Yeah. Let's see 4K 30. Ah, oh, the interface. It's a little bit clunky. This interface. Clunky. I'm yeah. Not a fan. Okay, but let's try. All right. Oh, need to go back. So maybe at 4K 30. Let's see. 
Now you can get video stabilization. Oh, so it's yes, that's EIA some 4K30. So 4K30, you can get the optical image stabilization. So maybe if you're I was really shaking it a lot, but it did. It was pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. I was really shaking this thing a lot, so it's, it, it wasn't very fair. But <laughs> it was just to see how far I could push it. So maybe wait. Uh... Okay, so uh, those are the main settings. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. So you got the shutter. You can adjust the V. You got the white balance. You can adjust uh, video stabilization, auto low light which is not available for 240 or 200 frames per second. Manual audio control. Another cool thing about this is now you can finally have zoom when you're doing the yeah, photos. Yeah, let's do some zoom thing. So let's take zoom photos, okay. So you need to press this, focus point, and then the camera will let you zoom into that. There you go. So it's nice. It's a nice feature to finally be able to do that. You can do this in linear and you can also do it in wide. Oh. Okay, so pretty cool feature. So this is just going to be a sound test, sound test. One, two, three, sound test. <laughs> one, two, three, one, mic two, check, one, two, three, mic check. <laughs> Let's keep it short. The TV is just not loud enough to record. So this is just going to be a sound test. Sound test. One, two, three, sound test. One, two, three, one, two, mic three, check. One, two, three, mic check. <laughs> Let's keep it short. The TV is just not loud enough to record. Hands-on look with the GoPro Hero 6 and how it compares to the U4K Plus. Uh, both are very, very nice cameras. Just one happens to have come out earlier and costs half the price. <laughs> so the U4K Plus right now on Amazon and the eStore is going for 299 US dollars. This one right now on GoPro and Amazon is going for 499 dollars. So there's a 200 dollar difference for not very much more. So unless you really, really need a GoPro, I would still probably go with this if I were spending my own money. Yeah. yeah. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. It's a really big selfie camera. I think we're gonna have some nice pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Cash. Please subscribe to the channel and the channel link in the description. Please subscribe and see you next time.